in this video, I will show you how you can easily create login or registration page, or you can edit the login and registration page, whether it's for the WooCommerce or for the WordPress very easily without writing a single line of code. Yes, guys, without writing a single line of code, I will show you in this video how you can create something like this. Yeah, that's so beautiful, right? Isn't it amazing that you can create this using two plugins. The first is the Elementor and the others I will let you know in this video. So namaste guys, this is me Neeraj Kashyap and welcome to Blogger's Pro where I share everything about WordPress, online marketing, affiliate marketing, passive income and everything that you need to get started on the digital world. So let's get started with this tutorial without any further ado. Okay, so we are back to our computer and let's get started guys. So just imagine this will be your login page for your website. Isn't just, it just freaking awesome? It's just like out of the world or uh, not out of the world. I mean, it's like uh, totally professionally being made. It doesn't even represent that this runs on WordPress. Yes. And the best thing is that within five minutes, you can just create this same or even much better version of the login page. You can just change this uh, images uh, since I have created a shoe store here. That's why I'm representing shoe here. You can change it to anything. You can change the color. You can change the buttons layout. Everything in this form is changeable. So let's get started with this tutorial and I will show you step by step how you can create this login page very easily without even writing a single line of code yes guys without writing a single line of code so, so let's get started right now okay so first thing that i would like to show you is is this page working or not okay so let's refresh it okay and you can see here there's no admin board so let's log in the password let's type the username okay so the username and i will type the password both are the same and i will check on the login button it's loading guys and just look the admin bar will appear here right now okay the admin bar is here i've logged in okay guys so and you can see here it's logged in no i don't want to save you are logged in as developer that's the beauty guys that's the beauty so let's log it out right now Okay, so this is the default page that uh, is used by uh, WordPress and actually by default uh, you should not uh, change anything in here uh, because uh, WordPress gets regular updated. So changing this can literally harm you in other ways. So don't change this here. So there are several plugins that allows you to customize this page, but we are not talking about this because uh, since most of the time we don't allow users to come to WP login or WP admin, we just want them to be uh, in the front end and do all the things right guys. So let's get back to that uh, to that page. Where is that page? Okay, here. So in this tutorial, I have already mentioned, okay, so here is the tutorial if you are wondering. The links are, by the way, the links are given in the description below in this video. And if you are watching this on my website, uh, Bloggers Pro, then you are on the same page uh, where you are watching this video. So in this tutorial, we are using two plugins. The first is the Elementor, which is the free version. And the second is the ultimate add-on for Elementor. This is a paid plugin. Yes, guys, this is a paid plugin. And the third is JetBlocks. This is an optional. So it depends upon you which plugin you want to use. The first one is a little costlier. The other is the cheaper version. I will show you here, guys. Uh, okay, so here is the pricing plan uh, for ultimate add-ons. Uh, it's $55, but it also gives you features like 50 elementary widgets, yes, 65 starter, free starter templates, 200 sections, uh, cross-site copy and paste, WooCommerce widget, uh, white labeling, and there are lots of other things that uh, it can really help you build your ultimate website very easily. On the other hand, the Croco blocks, okay, let's get back here. Okay, okay, there it is. Okay, and this is on the other hand, that is Jet blocks. It has nine widgets and it comes for only $19. So it's really cheap compared, uh, really cheaper compared to the ultimate add-ons, but you have to know the differences before you go and make the purchase for the jet blocks. Okay. So I have made a page here. This is just, just a demo page. 
and I haven't made any such uh, changes or any uh, any special uh, designs. I just created a page, uh, put a image here that covers 70 percent, uh, near about 60 percent, and the 40 percent of the page I gave for the widget area. So here are two widgets. The first is the login widget. You can see UAE, which stands for ultimate add-on for elementors and the second is the login widget using jetblocks now you can see literally there is some changes the first is the size yeah the form size cannot be increased and just look at it uh, if i have just tried to increase a little bit and it gets shifted here if i will type something it starts from the mill which is really not professional whereas in the uae uh, if i type something it will start from the very beginning the second thing is you got a register button here that will redirect you to the register page uh, which comes with the UAE ultimate add-ons but in JetBlocks you don't have that. The third is that you can align this button to the left, center, right or justify it so that it covers the entire block but this doesn't have option. What, the, what do I mean by justify is this guys. Okay, let's get logged out from here. Okay, I think I'm logged out. Just I need to refresh it. Okay, yeah, you can see this page is complete. Uh, this button is completely from this start to this end. Uh, the, it's the entire match of the form. Yeah, that's what it means using the justify. So you have the option to justify in UAE, but not in JetBlocks. So if concluding all the, the details that I have given you, uh, I will say that the UAE provides a better deal for the better uh, for a little uh, significantly higher price than compared to the JetBlocks. And for twenty dollars, you are just getting seven widgets. Yeah, just no, I'm sorry, nine widgets. Whereas just for fifty-five dollars, you are getting fifty plus widgets and sixty-five starter templates and two hundred sections. I mean, just compare, you are getting more than three hundred and fifteen elements in ultimate add-on so definitely it's the uh, it's better to go with them because this is the same company who is uh, who has created astra you can see here astra yeah they are the same company who have created the ultimate add-ons so definitely go for it so in this tutorial uh, i will be using uh, the ultimate add-ons okay and let's get started creating this page so the by the uh, so by the way um, in this tutorial I will not teach you how to design this page okay since uh, this is a normal um, uh, video of about this uh, log, uh, login and register form this is just a simple way how you can design a page using Elementor so definitely I have got several videos on the internet there are several videos how you can design it okay so I'm not going to cover that I'm just going to show you how you can use the login and register features very easily. So here are the other the tutorials are given here. So let's come to the Elementor section. So before uh, getting started, I will show you the plugins that I have installed and active currently right now. So this is the first plugin is disable admin notice just because I'm getting lots of notifications uh, in my uh, developer dashboard. That's why I have activated this. The plugins that are that are required for you okay the plugins that are required for this tutorial for you is Elementor the free version. Uh, the ultimate add-ons for Elementor, this is a paid version. Just these two plugins are required for this tutorial. Okay, guys. So let me say you once, once more that ultimate add-ons and Elementor, just these two plugins are required for this tutorial. And, and the rest of the plugins are not required. I have just installed it so that uh, the website uh, can work because I'm uh, working in a e-commerce website e-commerce website you can also say that that's why I have installed other plugins but only these two plugins are re required so to get started the first thing you need to do is go to pages and click on create new okay so I have already created a page so that's why I will show you where I have created a page so just click on this add new button and create a page so I have uh, created this page here okay So now, uh, so I have already created a login page. So I will, uh, I will now create a registration page uh, just in front of you, and it's really very easy. So ultimate add-ons allow you to copy it everything. So I will go here and I will right click and I will click uh, UAE copy. Now I have copied that. I will come to this page. Okay, it's loading. So you have see, uh, seen that I had just created a normal page, a uh, blogger uh, sprout registration. I have uh, saved this page. Uh, and now I will click on this button, add it with Elementor. This will load the Elementor page. So you don't get confused. I will move this page here. This is the 
login page i will move it uh, to the extreme right and this is the page we are working right now okay so everything has loaded and you can see it's totally empty this is a normal header and this is a normal footer the section area is completely empty so i have already created the design if you don't know how to create a design just click on this button you will get the sections click on the sections uh, then you have to just uh, this is a section here and uh, you need to click uh, two more sections uh, just like this okay add new column and you have to bring a image bar or whatever thing that you want to like uh, just like in this case whatever you want to like and you, you can create the sections by default but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial because I want to make this tutorial very short and informative for you so I have already designed the page and I will just paste the content here so this is a uh, the page that I have pasted it now I will change this login to register okay this is the register now this is the login page uh, login uh, form you can see it here edit login form and now i will just remove it i will click delete here and now once it's deleted i will just come here and i will just minimize all this so that i can easily search for the uae and this is the ultimate add-ons scroll down below and you have to search for the registration although you can also search it above by typing user registration form but I got it here so I will just go and I will drag and drop it here okay and now once I have dropped it here now the registration form has opened so it says uh, username email and password if you want to add another more one password so I will just click on it here and I will write confirm password level would be confirm password okay and it's required so now you can you, you can see it's easily been configured okay now i have to also keep the placeholder okay there it goes the placeholder okay so the form has been created now what i need to do is input size i have to change it to medium so that the text are a little bigger and easy to read on any device okay now i need to come to the register button and uh, it says register okay that's good now on general settings general settings says hide for from the logged in users yes obviously we want to hide it from the logged in users okay uh what is what's the message that you want to show in you are already registered you already have an account okay that's it now new user role this is very important so if now here the things comes guys please uh, pay a very uh, like this is very important uh, so be very attentive if you are not using woocommerce you need to select subscriber okay you need to select this subscriber but if you are using woocommerce since this tutorial i made it for woocommerce and i have all clearly mentioned it uh, down below how to integrate it with woocommerce you can see here i have said that change the new user default to subscribers to customer okay so <clears throat> So I have clearly mentioned it here that you have to change the subscriber to customer. So that's how any user, if you, they will sign up using this form, this uh, form, yes, uh, they will be automatically being treated as a WooCommerce customer, okay? Because whenever a user signs up on a WooCommerce website, they are not subscribers, they are customers. That's why we have to choose here as the customer. Guys, please, I'm saying it once again so that you get it very clear. If you are not using WooCommerce, choose this as subscriber. If you are not using WooCommerce, okay? And if you are using WooCommerce, then choose customer, okay? Because I hope you have understand why I am saying that, okay? That's it. Now here it says login, add the login link below. Yes, obviously we want that login link below, okay? So the very, let's see, okay, here it says login. Now. I will say already have an account okay that sounds much beautiful and sexy <laughs> okay let's load up load up uh, i think yeah that is okay now here it says link to default wordpress page no i don't want that i want you to go to my account page so i will copy this link okay and i will paste it here 
guys these are great features that uae provide which unfortunately is not available on jet blocks that's why i haven't recommend it jet blocks in this uh, video because although the price is cheap but the features are also very less so it's not worthy for uh, if you are running an e-commerce store okay so now here is lost your password obviously you don't want lost your password because they are already creating two passwords okay uh, so we don't want that now the alignment i would like it centered okay here it's that's a uh, center okay now password check strength so you can also do that like password check strength so it will also show the strength of the password you can do that it's a good feature okay let's come to the acceptance field now on acceptance field it says enabled now it's the terms and conditions here it's great to have this checkbox so that they agree to your terms and conditions and this also prevents the bots from uh, filling this data automatically and registering an account so this is a really great move okay so now go to after registration effect send email okay what are the other auto login yes i want auto login and i want also to be redirected redirected to the page here okay so i already have created that uh, redirect so i will remove it from here okay so two things i want to send an email to the user and i want them to be auto logged in okay now the comes to the email part email template you can choose uh, the other custom template but i will go for the default now the success and error message uh, the if i registered it successfully it will say thank you for registering with us and if something goes wrong error something went wrong okay now coming to the style now we have to design this form guys do you remember our login page that's how it looked it had a blue button but uh, this uh, page doesn't have that so you know what there's one more thing that you can do is uh, you can just go to this form click on it here click on copy okay now come to that back to the page here right click here and paste style okay Okay, so, uh, so I think they are both different widgets. That's why they, uh, it didn't take. But sometimes it happens that it copies the design and pastes it here. So no worries, we can design it. We have the styling section here. Okay, so the, what, what is the first thing that we need to do? We need to do is we need to come and we need to change the labels colors. Okay, so here I will change the text color to completely black. Okay, there it goes completely black the size is perfectly okay i don't want to do anything with the size okay and let's come to the input fields these are the input fields each of them are input fields okay so now it says input style box and underline i want box underline is a feature you can see it will it will get just get a single line here but i want the box feature it looks much beautiful okay that's the box now i need to do one thing is that I need to select uh, the border color and I need to change it to a little dark version. Okay. That's enough. Okay. That is really great. Okay. Now the fields are done. Now what we need to do is acceptance field style. Uh, it's good. Acceptance field style. I don't need to change anything. Okay now register button now we have to change the color of the register button so now here is the background uh, background type so i will click on this classic and then i will choose on the color the color then i will choose on the blue color here i will just select it and make it look something back uh, that matches my theme okay 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 where it where it where it okay just near about okay that's it that's matched my theme color okay now that's done already have an account so everything is done now so one thing that i noticed is that in my login page i haven't used the placeholders here so i will just remove these placeholders from these fields so i'll go to the content again and i will go to each of them username i will just remove the uh, placeholders okay username is required obviously username is required email placeholder okay remove it password remove it and confirm password remove it okay so i have removed those so now it may goes and completely matches the login form so i will show you the login form how does it matches there it is the login form and there is the register form it look it matches completely okay so let's now 
change something what is this okay go through okay acceptance filled please go through this i don't want this okay i just want access the terms and condition there it goes much more sexier and beautiful oh, the, there, there was a song i think i i do remember you're sexy and i know it uh, uh, yeah do you remember that song yeah guys that's it okay so now i just need to make the border radius a look me little bit more beautiful five yeah now that's it guys that's it we have created our registration page and just i need to click on the update button here it looks loading and saving it takes time but it's beautiful yeah that's done now click on the life changes but don't worry the page will not show up because i'm already logged in guys you should remember that okay so i will just copy it okay by the way if i'm logged in it says you are you already have an account that's the beautiful part of this and now let's come here this is an incognito window that you can see it here and now i will open a new tab and i will paste and go and here is the registration page isn't that beautiful guys it wasn't that easy just let me know in the comments below wasn't that easy weren't you able to do it by all by yourself everyone can guys everyone can you just need to get that only single plugin that you need to purchase is the ultimate add-ons by the way the link to that plugin is already given in the description below in this video and also on my youtube channel and uh, i would also like to give you a, the disclaimer that that link that i have given you is an affiliate link uh, i will earn a small commission if you uh, if you go through my link and purchase it although you don't have to pay anything extra for that but the thing is that if you do so uh, it will support me financially so that i can make much more beautiful content just like this uh, so that i can support each and everyone uh, that comes and gets a help from a youtube channel so uh, if you feel uh, uh, great enough uh, to support me, uh, if you feel if you want to support me, please go through that link. That will literally really help me uh, to continue my journey forward. So that's it, guys. This is how you can uh, like uh, create your login and registration page easily without writing a single line of code. And I hope that you have liked this video. And if you have any queries, any doubts, you can just comment down in this video. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, just comment down uh, below. And if you are watching this on uh, on my blog post, which is uh, how to edit WooCommerce, uh, this post, uh, you just need to scroll down below here. You will get the comment section. Just comment it there, and I will and I can assure you that I will reply you within 24 hours. So uh, if you have any kind of problem or any queries, just comment down below. Feel free to contact me. So that's it, guys, for this video. I hope you have have enjoyed and learned something today keep enjoying what you are doing and i will meet you guys on my next video